Joypad reaction video here on the Joypad channel with me, Mike, the guy who does the reviewing. Today I will be checking out by request a song by Roiksop and Robin. Oh God, I don't know if I pronounce that name right. Roiksop. I don't know what the umlaut does to an O. Um, I listened to Roiksop. Uh, I think my al favorite album by them is probably Junior. I never really got into Senior. Um, the one before that, I believe, was Melody AM. I, I'm not super well-versed in their discography. I remember liking Junior the most when it came out. This was years and years ago. Um, I do know that they collaborated with Robin, and the only song that I've heard from that collaboration was Do It Again, which I did enjoy. But uh, someone on YouTube, a uh, user named Kevin Dobson, requested that I check out the song Monument from that same EP, which... I think it, it was probably just called Roiksop and Robin, I'm not sure, but like I said, I hadn't checked out any of the other songs, so he said that I should check out A Monument, which today I will be doing. However, it's an almost 10, ten minute long song, minus three seconds, so it's going to be a long video, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be long. Um, I'm just going to get to it so the video isn't super long. I try to keep my videos kind of short and digestible, especially because I am not a professional at this. I can't really go into huge detail on theory and things like that. I will analyze lyrics, but it's not in any sort of professional capacity. So let's get into the song. This is A Monument by Roiksop and Robin. I really wish I could hear better out of my right ear right now. I kind of wish I was wearing better quality earbuds.
like it's about to go into a different section here or a new sort of movement. I mean, that right there, that's three and a half minutes. That's the, the length of a regular song already. I love the production here. The instrumentals are so good. It, it didn't feel like it was three and a half minutes. This is the sort of song that I feel like carries you away and you don't really notice how long it is like that it's it's almost hypnotic um vocals are great lyrics are you know fine i i, I try not to get into that too much but man the um the instrumentation really is hypnotic is the best word i can cho choose for it there's not too much variation yet and I think that's the point. That's what, what kind of gives it that mesmerizing feel. There, There's a little bit there. Um, there was that moment where there was like a higher pitched sound. Sound? I don't know. I'm, I'm reaching. I don't know the terms for electronic music very well. But like that, it's just so smooth. And... Uh, Given that I know the song is 10 minutes long, I'm interested to see where it goes. Like, so let's, let's just keep going. Let's see where it goes.
to give it that very uh, mesmerizing, hypnotic vibe. The vocals were very good. Um, the little variations that were added, the hand drums, the brass, you know, I'm pretty sure it was a saxophone. And I, I think there was something else. I don't know what that really, like, breathy, gentle one was. Maybe it was also a saxophone. I'm not super well-versed in wind instruments. But, like, adding, adding those in was, was huge because it, it, it's something so unexpected. Um, especially for electronic music, you, you kind of don't expect to hear analog instruments, if you will. So, mixing in that sort of brass and, or I know technically this, the saxophone is not a brass instrument, it's a woodwind instrument, but mixing those in really took the song to a a different vibe as well as the hand drums they really brought it out of that sort of like cold sterile electronic feel which honestly the song didn't even have that much of um the bass was very warm and it was kind of the focal point of the song i think just yeah, I, just, I, I, I feel like it's one of those songs that is good to just vibe to. Like, obviously, you know, I was listening to it closely as it was my first listen. But, you know, a, a lot of people might think that saying this is good for background music is an insult. I think it's actually not an insult. I think it's quite a compliment because it means that it, it's something that can hold your ear and hold your attention, but also allow you to focus on something else, which is, is good sometimes. Like, you know, I currently work in a, in a restaurant and I'm constantly looking and listening for music that I could play there that, you know, would fit the clientele, I suppose I should say. And also, you know, that I think people would enjoy, you know, I, I'm limited. I can't, you know, no profanity, no harsh vocals, but I, I you know, I, I try to find things that would be interesting and would hopefully, people would be like, oh, that's cool. I don't know what that is, but I'd like to hear more of it. This is a song that I think I would want to play there. Um, yeah, and this, of course, makes me interested in hearing the rest of the EP that uh, Roy Sop and Robin did, so. 
There's also that. This song was very different from Do It Again. Do It Again is kind of like your typical, almost, club banger. This is a much more introspective and, um, I guess I would say thoughtful track. But I really liked it, so thank you, Kevin Dobson, for suggesting this one. I will definitely be adding it to a playlist, if not several. And I think that's going to do it for this video, because it's getting long. Um, thank you for watching, everyone. Questions, comments, and concerns can be left down below, as well as requests. That is mainly what I review, is things that people request. Um, music reviews, up five days a week, Monday through Friday, and also gaming content will hopefully be coming back soon as well, now that I've got a little more time on my hands and some motivation to just do things. So thank you very much for watching. As usual, I say that you should be safe, be smart, be kind, wash your hands, um, and don't catch the Rona. Doesn't sound like it's fun, and I don't want it either. And I, I, I'd like to see my friends sometime soon. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.